Curious 87 and I know it's been a long time but I wanted to discuss or like give advice on your senior year of high school and this video I actually put it up late for a reason because first of all you guys have been high in high school for a while so it's not like you don't already know what you should be doing and you should already have like pretty much a pretty solid idea of what you want to do in the future, what colleges you want to apply to, like what you should be doing your senior year. So I'm gonna try and just help keep you on the right road. And um, I actually wanted to include like college applications in this video, but then I realized that it'd probably be a pretty long video. So if you guys want me to talk about college applications, I would love to do that. I can make another video for that. So let me know in the comments if you are interested. Okay, so let me talk about my senior year. My senior year, my first semester, I took civics and economics, um, which is a requirement uh, class that I needed to graduate. Um, I also took honors world history, which was linked to AP world history, AP English literature, orchestra for the entire year, um, AP Chinese for the entire year, and I also took Psych 101 at a community college. And this was my first college class, and I loved it. To be honest, it wasn't that much different from my high school, but I don't know, it was a great experience. I highly recommend you taking a college class if you could get the chance. Just take a college class, it's good for you. Okay, so the second semester, I took aerobics, um, another requirement I had to take, um, AP World History still, British Literature, which was linked to AP English Literature, um, and of course, Orchestra and AP Chinese. These classes, they were all classes that I liked. Notice how there's no math or science. Like, I'm, I was definitely done with math and science. Coming to college, I wish I had taken, like, Calc CD or um, Multivariable Calculus so that I wouldn't have to take it here. So if you have the opportunity to take that class, take it so you don't have to take it here in college because I heard it's a little bit easier at community colleges. I don't know. Just if you get the chance, do it. What tips to doing well academically? I already know this is your senior year. This is your last year. Um, you've heard about like all the great things that seniors get to do their senior year, but remember, it's not a time to slack off especially the your first semester because that's when you're doing college apps and then later scholarships so don't slack off right now until you receive your acceptance letter you cannot give in to senioritis and i'm very serious about this because i've seen people like slack off the first day of senior year and it just goes downhill from there even after you get your acceptance letter don't let your grades drop below a b because colleges will look at that and they could revoke your admission, so be wary of that. Senior year is when like being close to your counselors and your teachers comes in handy because you can actually now ask them for like letters of recommendations and like advice for college apps. Especially your English teachers, they can help look at your college app essays and like help you edit them, make them better. Like this this is a good opportunity to use your friendships. Okay, this is a very, very big thing you need to be aware of, and that is deadlines. Because deadlines are, like, there's deadlines for everything. I recommend making, like, a list of, like, the deadlines that you have, like, deadline for this application, deadline for this application, and um, just keep track of those, because if you miss the deadline, like, good luck. Um, and also don't submit things like the day of the deadline or like the day before because that's when like if it's on the internet that's when like the system crashes and um, just make sure you get things done ahead of time. For me I only apply to UC schools so um, the UC application is completely online but for those of you who are doing like the common app and that kind of thing um, definitely print out um, multiple copies of your like application so you can like practice filling them out and like that kind of thing it's definitely helpful like doing things by hand before like transferring it online and that kind of thing another thing is is that you want to look for scholarships and make sure your parents prepare their income tax statements as soon as possible because you're going to need this for financial aid and trust me you might think that you have enough money to pay for college but it's definitely good to always get scholarships. After you've received your acceptance letters, um, decide on the college you want to go to. Like visit it, research it. Definitely look at all those colleges that you've 
apply to and consider all of them because I mean why else would you apply? After that, send in your tuition deposit once you choose your college and um, your letter of intent to register. Finally, request for a final copy of your transcript to be sent to your college and you're done. That's it. That's senior year. That's all you have to do. Like, congratulations. I've heard stories about people who like take eight APs their senior year and I'm like, no, don't do that to yourself. At most, take three. That's how much I, I took three plus my college class. But I mean, like, senior year, you don't want to slack off completely and not take any AP classes because that doesn't look good on your college apps. Colleges want to see that you're still challenging yourself even though it's your senior year. But I mean, definitely don't push yourself harder than you did your junior year. Because I mean, it's your senior year. Have fun. Tips to doing well socially. First of all, don't ditch your classes even after you've been accepted to college. Okay, maybe like sometimes, I'm not going to lie, do it occasionally. But... Like this is both academically and socially damaging because like unless all your friends are ditching too, you're you're gonna be doing nothing. You're gonna be wasting away a period that you could be using learning. So your senior year, I highly recommend you help out younger students. Um, for me, I have like younger friends at my high school and like I really like helping them out, planning their schedules, giving them advice. So if you can do that, definitely do that because I don't know. Helping others itself is like very rewarding. It's your senior year, so I mean, make an effort to make yourself look good. I know a lot of seniors who got really lazy senior year and they just wore like sweats to class, but I mean like, you have more free time, so you should spend it getting ready, looking cute, that kind of thing. Dating advice. So if you do get a boyfriend your senior year, definitely talk to him about your future, like future as in college future, because I had a lot of friends who were like dating their senior year, but then like they decided to stay together for college and now they've broken up because like, to be honest, you're going to meet a lot of new people in college and if they're not going to the same college as you, or even if they are, chances are you're not going to stay together. So definitely talk to them about that. Finally, hang out with your friends and treasure the time that you spend with your family because I know all of you want to like fly out of the nest in order to get to college, but you're not going to see your family very often most likely and your friends too so treasure the time that you spend with them that's about it i hope you guys enjoy your senior year let me know how it goes how your college applications are going and if you want me to make a college apps video so okay thanks for watching bye